Hey, what's up everyone? Josh Kenyon is here and today I want to talk about the cameras on the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5. Now, I've said this before in previous videos and I'll say it again. It's kind of hard to find a smartphone that takes just really, really bad pictures. I mean, unless you're buying, you know, the cheapest smartphone that is available out there. But for the most part, I mean, you can get some pretty decent photos with pretty much any smartphone out on the market right now, even budget smartphones. And that's kind of the beauty of having so much to choose from because, you know, everybody has different tastes in photos and videos as well. Well, today I want to talk about the cameras on the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5. On the inside, we do have that single selfie lens for selfies, of course, and then we have the two outside cameras on the rear or front well depending you know if you have it closed like this then it's kind of in the front but if you have it open then they're the rear cameras i don't know it's kind of you know what i mean but we got the two cameras we got the main lens and then the ultra wide angle lens which i do recommend using these rear cameras to take your selfie because that's the beauty of having a bigger outside display when you have the device closed is that now you can see yourself when taking selfies that way you get the best picture possible using the main lens not that you know this inside lens takes bad pictures which you'll see here in a bit but you know it's always best to just use the best cameras available on that specific device now i'm no professional photographer so i'm not going to go you know too much into detail with every single picture that i've taken basically what i'm going to do is just let all the pictures i've taken just kind of run through let you guys see all the pictures that i took and then y'all can leave your thoughts down in the comment sections below and then when all the pictures are done running through then i'll give you just my final overall thoughts and what i think about the cameras on this device right here and then you know we'll go over video and then talk about all the other camera features but let's go ahead and get started So what do y'all think just based off of all the photos that I just showed right now? Do you think the cameras on the Galaxy Z Flip 5 are decent or do you think they can use some work? Now for me, just based off of just my overall thoughts, I think the cameras are good. I mean, they're going to get the job done. Are they the best cameras that I've ever seen in a smartphone? No, they can still use some work. They're nothing like the ones on my Galaxy S23 Ultra, which is the phone that's recording this video right now. But I mean, they're still going to get the job done. Of course, like with any smartphone, if the lighting is really good, you can get a good photo out of it. So when it comes to, you know, daylight photos or even indoors when the lighting is good, you can get some good photos with the Galaxy Z Flip 5. Even when it comes to portrait mode, I think it comes, cuts out the subject just right to where, you know, it focuses on that su subject and blurs the background just right. There are, you know, a few instances where maybe in the hair where it kind of blurs some of the hair, but for the most part, it does look good. Even especially like this picture of the little doggy right here, I think it did a pretty good job. Um, using the portrait mode right there. So overall light, daytime, indoor with good lighting photos, I think these cameras perform great. Now, when it comes to nighttime photos, one thing that I did notice like with this photo right here, when using that night mode on the cameras here, it can kind of make the picture maybe seem a bit hazy at times. Now, it's not like this with every single photo that you take at night, but I did notice in some of my photos, it kind of gave it like a little a little hazy look. Not that the photo looks bad because the photo still looks good, but it I guess it's really just going to come down to personal preference on whether 
you like your photo to look like that or you don't like your photo to look like that. But in some of these photos, it was actually a lot darker than uh, you know what it shows here in the picture. So when it comes to brightening up that photo and being able to see what you're actually trying to take a picture of at night, then yeah, it does do a great job with that. It's just that little bit of haziness that kind of puts into the picture sometimes, not all the time, sometimes. But overall, when it comes to daytime photos and nighttime photos, I mean, the cameras on the Galaxy Z Flip 5, they're going to get the job done. You really won't have any disappointments or, you know, huge disappointments when it comes to taking photos with the Galaxy Z Flip 5, especially when you get to have it open like this. I mean, you can use it to take selfies like this, whether it's the inside camera or the outside camera. I mean, it's a cool little device. You know, when it comes to a little flip device like this, it just makes using the camera just a bit more fun than just with a regular slab device. All right, now before we move on to the video portion of this video, I wanna give a big thanks and shout out to the sponsors of this video, Casetify. Now, if you're not really sure who Casetify is, I mean, it's in the name. They make cases, but not just any ordinary cases. They make cases that are going to provide some great protection for your Galaxy Z Flip 5. You're getting up to five feet of drop protection when it comes to the Z Flip 5. I mean, you're getting good protection for that outside display, a nice deep cutout for the cameras as well. If you open it up, you're getting just enough lift to where if you were to accidentally drop it face down on a flat surface or just set it down on a flat surface, it's giving you just enough lift to where it won't touch any flat surface and you won't have to risk damaging or scratching up that inside display. And then you also get extra protection on the corners, on each corner, of these cases right here to give you extra drop protection, which will absorb that impact if you do happen to drop it on the corner. Now, aside from being super protective, these cases also come with tons of options to choose from. And I'm talking tons of customizable options on their website. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. And if for some reason you don't see anything you like, you can customize the case to look like what you want it to like, whether maybe you want your name on it, maybe your initials like the one that I have right here, or maybe you want a photo on the back of your case. I mean, the customizable options are kind of limitless when it comes to a Casetify case. And another thing that you probably didn't know about Casetify cases is that they are actually made with recycled cases. So they actually have a program where you can recycle your case and they will use those to make their cases. So they're kind of saving the environment in a way if you want to look at it like that. But if you do find yourself interested in a case to fight case, if you want to customize one for yourself, I'll make sure to have a special link down in the description below. Make sure you check that out so you can go pick up a case to fight case for yourself and keep your Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5 protected. Okay, so moving on to the video portion of this video, you know, when it comes to taking video on the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5, we're going to go over this the same exact way. I went ahead and took some video samples, which I'll play for you all, and then I'll give you my final thoughts at the end of those video samples. Now, this device does allow us to record up to 4K 30 frames per second and 4K 60 frames per second as well. It's also got a portrait video mode and there's just tons of other uh, video features as well, which we will go uh, over after these video tests and giving you my overall thoughts. But let's go and check them out. All right, so starting off with that inside selfie camera at 4K 30 frames per second here on the Z Flip 5. What do y'all think? I'm here at the park nice and bright out. I'm actually in the shade because it's super hot out here. And once that sun gets beaming on you, it just, it feels like it's just burning you up. But you know what? We'll go ahead and walk out to the sun for a little bit so we can see what that looks like here on camera. And whoo, that sun is bright. <laughs> but just doing a quick little walk here. Uh, what do y'all think about stabilization? Also, let me know what you think about the microphone as well. What do you think about overall sound quality? How well it's picking up my voice? As you can see, I do have cars uh, driving here behind me. So let me know if it's picking those up over my voice or if it's picking up my voice over those cars or even these uh, cicada bugs in the trees as well. Again, this is that inside selfie camera uh, at 4K 30 frames per second. Let's go and check out the rear facing cameras. So taking it over to the rear facing cameras at 4K 30 frames per second, just panning around here. Now, of course, we also have that ultra wide angle lens. If you want to capture more in your shot, go ahead and just do a nice steady walk here. Check out stabilization. Let's go and take it back to the main lens. What do y'all think? What do y'all think? Let me try to get some detail right here in this table. And let's, uh, let's go ahead and jog here. See what stabilization is like when jogging. A 
there it is 4k 30 on the rear facing cameras of the galaxy z flip 5. Okay, now real quick, I just want to give you all an idea of portrait video mode. This is with the rear facing cameras. It's also available with the inside camera as well. But, you know, if you want the best quality, you definitely want to use the rear facing camera to be able to use this portrait video mode just to get that best quality. But what do y'all think currently in the shade? Let me go ahead and walk out here to the sun. Woo! Stabilization, of course, is going to be the same as regular video mode. It's just with the portrait video mode, you're going to get that nice blur effect in the background to give you more of a cinematic or professional look. But what do y'all think? Let me know down in the comments. All right, so here is a quick video test at 4K 30 frames per second with that inside selfie camera here on the Galaxy Z Flip 5. What do y'all think? Just doing a nice pan around here. We'll go ahead and, go ahead and walk a little bit, check out stabilization. Now, what I notice at night with most of these video tests uh, that I do with these smartphones is that you know stabilization at night is not always the best video can kind of seem a bit jittery so just keep that in mind but what do y'all think let me know down in the comments go ahead and pan around one more time let's go and check out the rear facing camera all right so taking it over to the rear facing camera at 4k 30 frames per second just doing a steady walk here take a look at these palm trees beautiful night tonight Then of course we have the ultra wide angle lens. Now in my opinion, the ultra wide angle lens doesn't look the best. I mean, I've seen better, especially when it comes to the S23 Ultra, but I mean, it's here if you wanna use it at night, you know, back to the main lens. What do y'all think? Let's do a nice uh, steady walk here. Walk up to this big horn over here so we can see what the colors look like at night. I'll go ahead and jog this way. What do y'all think? What do y'all think? Again, 4K 30 frames per second on the rear facing camera of the Galaxy Z Flip 5. All right, all right. So overall, I mean, during the day, I think video quality is great. It's pretty decent, whether you're using that inside camera or the rear cameras. I think video quality is good. Stabilization is good. I think the overall microphone uh, quality is good as well. There were some times where I noticed when I was kind of walking, you know, on the unflat surface where it did seem a little bit bumpy, but for the most part, I mean, video quality is decent. Again, just like the photos, not the best video quality I've seen in a smartphone, but it is going to get the job done. Now, when it comes to nighttime video, when taking video with that inside camera, I would not recommend that. I mean, it, it does. I mean, unless you really need to, in my opinion, it just does not look the best. Yeah, I can see myself, but it just kind of looks muddy. And I just, I mean, I'm pretty sure a lot of you can agree with me that with that down in the comments. But when it comes to taking video at night with the rear facing camera, when using the main lens, I think video looks pretty good. It looks pretty decent. It's smooth. You can see things clearly. It's bright enough. But when it comes to, you know, changing it up to that ultra wide angle lens, that's where things kind of downgrade a little bit. It doesn't really look the best. So I really wouldn't use that ultra wide angle lens when taking video, you know, at night. I would prefer using the main lens overall. And then when it comes to portrait video mode, I think it performs pretty well. Honestly, I think the portrait video mode with the S23 Ultra performs a lot better, but I mean, it's still decent. It's still there if you do need to use it. I'd probably recommend using it if maybe you're just doing like a sit down thing. Maybe you're just, you know, talking to the camera. You got your phone set up on a tripod. But if you're walking around like this, there could be times where it doesn't focus right on certain parts of your face or your head or your body. So I would recommend that more for something if you're just kind of, you know, sitting down talking to the camera, kind of like I am right now. But uh, y'all let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. Let's go ahead and take a look at the other video features on the Z Flip 5. All right, so going into the camera app here, they do give us quite a bit of modes to choose from when it comes to taking photos and video. So of course we have a portrait mode, we have the photo mode, we got the video mode, and then if we click on more, it gives us more options to choose from. So of course we have that pro photo mode, which gives us more options to be able to set this camera up just how we want it, depending on what how we want our pictures to look. And then if we go back into it, we got a pro video mode, same thing. We have a single take, which is really going to, it's going to allow you to take pictures, video, GIF all at the same time. So if I press this, it's gonna start a timer, 10 seconds. I can move this back and forth, move this back and forth, and I can stop it right now if I want, or just let it go for the entire 10 seconds. Now, if I go over here and swipe up, as you can see, it took a GIF, a fast forward clip, 
an original video. And then if you let it go longer, it will take pictures as well. So that's kind of a cool feature there. Let me go back into more. And then not only do we have single take, but we also have a night mode, of course, food mode, panorama, super slow-mo, regular slow motion, hyperlapse, portrait video, which you guys did see, and then director's view. And this director's view actually allows you to use both lenses at the same time. So we got this uh, inside camera that we're using right here, and then either one of the outside lenses. So another cool camera feature there. Now, if you wanna be able to use that outside display to see yourself when using the main lenses to take selfie photos, that way you get the better quality, up here you'll see a little square. You click on that and watch this. It says cover screen preview is on. Check that out. You can now use that cover screen to uh, be able to take your selfie. So just another cool feature there. I can turn that off. We have uh, filters, we have face filters that we can choose from. If I click on this, it can turn motion, motion photo on or off. We can change the aspect ratio, timer, flash, and then we can go into the settings here. So we have a screen optimizer. You can turn that on or off, shot suggestions. You can scan QR codes, which I do recommend having on. Uh, swipe shutter button to take a burst shot or create a GIF. Watermark, I do have that turned off. I don't want, you know, Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5 or whatever it is to be on every single photo I take. And then you have advanced picture options. High efficiency pictures, you can turn that on or off. Raw copies, you can turn that on or off as well. Save selfies as previewed. Auto frames per second. Now this will record brighter videos in low light conditions by automatically optimizing the frame rate in video mode, which I do have off. I don't really like that because if there's a time where I'm recording maybe at 60 frames per second, this will automatically drop it to lower than that. And I'll go back and watch the video. I'll be like, wait, it's not as smooth as I wanted it to be. And yeah, that's exactly why. So it's really dependent on if you want that on or off. Video stabilization, I do recommend to have that on. Advanced video options, high efficiency videos, prioritize video quality, uh, HDR 10 plus videos on or off, 360 degree audio recording, which is what you can use to capture sound through your Bluetooth headphones. So just another cool feature there. Uh, you get fit to screen, three, four aspect ratio, we got, we got tracking autofocus. We got the grid lines, which I do have on to help keep everything center of the video location tags. Shooting methods. Uh, you can press volume buttons to take a picture or record video. Zoom in or out. Control system. I currently have it to uh, take picture or record video. You can turn on the voice commands. You can just say smile, cheese, capture, or shoot. Floating shutter button. Show palm of your hand, which I do have on to take selfies. And then we have uh, settings to keep. If I go into that camera mode, south angle uh, filters, super steady. You can turn those on or off. Uh, vibration feedback, shutter sound. Actually, I'm going to turn that off. No, actually, you know, it's nice to have that on when the sound is on. And then you have your camera assistant, which you are able to use to customize your settings even more. You got auto HDR, picture softening, uh, quick tap shutter. Take pictures as soon as your finger touches the shutter button instead of when you lift it off. You can still swipe or press and hold the shutter button to capture GIFs, burst shots, and videos, but a picture will be taken too. So this is just to capture pictures faster, but it's going to prioritize the speed over picture quality. Uh, you can prioritize focus over speed, capture speed, prioritize quality, balance speed and quality, or prioritize speed. I'd like my pictures to have the best quality possible. Video recording in photo mode, all you gotta do is press and hold the shutter button and it will start recording video, just like this right here. If I press and hold, Let's see. There we go. As you can see, it does start recording video. If I swipe up, it'll lock it and it'll keep recording for me. And yeah, so that's basically uh, what we got when it comes to the cameras on this device right here. So there you have it. Just my overall thoughts with the cameras on the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5 when it comes to just my overall thoughts, whether you're taking photos or video. I mean, the cameras on the Z Flip 5, they're going to get the job done, whether you need to take a photo in the daytime, the nighttime, or whether you need to take a video in the daytime or the nighttime going to get the job done. Like I said, these days it's kind of hard to find a device that just takes really, really bad photos. But y'all let me know what you think down in the comment sections below. I would love to know if you do have a Galaxy Z Flip 5 for yourself. What do you think? What do you personally think about the cameras based off of your own experience? This is just based off of my experience. I'd love to know your thoughts. Thanks so much for watching. If you did like this video and find it helpful, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell for notifications so you're not missing out on any other future videos to come. And don't forget to check out our sponsors, Casetify. Again, thanks to them for sponsoring this video. I'm Josh Quinones, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.